So what I'm going to do is to do secure copy and I'm going to copy a folder. So I need to do it recursively. So I'm going to do dash R and then I need to pass the identification. So dash I and then pass in the node API. So that's the key we need to pass in. And then I'm going to pass in the folder. So node JS API. And then I need to pass in the user. So EC2 dash user at and then we pass in the IP address and we want this to go to the home folder. So I'm going to put a colon and then go to the home folder and then put a forward slash. Okay. That's just specifying that we're going to put this folder. So the Node.js API folder inside of the home folder of the EC2 user over this machine, which is 3.145.13.83, which is our server in the cloud. So I'm going to press enter on this and it's going to ask me if I trust this. Yes. And then it's going to copy everything. And you can see that everything is copied over to the remote computer. So now what I can do is I can just log into this remote computer and then run the same command and our application should already be running in the cloud. So I'm going to press up and I need to go here and I'm just going to delete all this stuff. Well, actually I need this and I need to change this to SSH. So SSH and clear the screen. So we're going to SSH pass in the identification. So the key, and then we're just going to go inside of our um, remote server with the user EC2 user. So I'm going to press enter and you can see we're already inside of there. So if I do LS, you see we have our Node.js API. And if I do Docker PS dash A, we should have a Docker running. So you see that we get the same result. We have nothing running. So if I do Docker images, you see we have no images either. So now I can just go inside of this folder, do LS. You can see we have everything exactly like we had them. Another thing I want to show you is if I go back to the home folder and then I do LS, you can see that we only have the Node.js API. We don't have any database folder, but that folder is going to be created as soon as we run the, the command. Let's go back into this folder, clear the screen, and then we're just going to run our command. So we're going to say Docker dash compose. We're going to do up because we want to start the containers and then we want to run it in detach mode and then we want it to build a Docker file. So we're going to do dash dash build. So once we run this, it's going to do everything. So it's going to go and get all the images, run all the containers and our application is going to be live. So I'm going to press enter and then I'm just going to wait for this to be over. everything completed for me and you can see that we have two containers running on this host so i'm going to clear the screen and then i'm going to do docker ps and you can see we have our two containers both of them up and running and i can also do docker images we should see our node image so you can see that the first image is node app version one that's the image that we specified that's the name of the image for the node application so now i'm going to go back to my third workspace and see if i can copy this ip address again and let's just go over here and just paste it here and then we need to pass in the port which is 3000 so i'm going to to 3000 and then press enter and you can see that our API is running on the cloud and I can zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. So we know that everything is working because we can access the server on 3000 and then we get our response coming back. So let's see if we can add some patients and do some operations just to make sure that this is running. So I was using HTTP Pi, but I know most of you guys will be using Postman and I have Postman as well. I just didn't use it for this course. So let's go over to my fourth workspace and you can see that I have Postman open and I'm going to open a new tab and then we're going to send a request here. So we're sending the request to the IP address to 3000, send the request you can see that we get the response. And I can also go to forward slash patient, so patient, and then send a get request. You can see no patient retrieve, and then as of right now, we don't have any patients. So let's go ahead and see if we can send a post request. So go to the body, uh, we wanna do raw, and then we're gonna change this to JSON, and we're gonna pass in our JSON in here. So we're gonna do first name, I'm gonna do junior, and then I'm just gonna copy this, and then paste it down a few times. So first name, gonna change the last name email so that's gonna be junior at email.com and then we're gonna do the phone so this is gonna be phone passing some phone here and then we need to pass in the address so address one two three main street again and then we need a diagnosis so diagnosis and this can be anything. And then we need the last one for the image URL. So I'm going to change this to image underscore URL. And then we're going to pass in something here. So HTTP. Actually, I'm just going to pass in the same domain. So I'm going to copy all this 
and then paste it down here and then let's do like images and then junior.png okay just, just some random url that doesn't exist so if we go ahead and send this as a post request so i'm going to change this to a post request this is going to go ahead and create this patient and then we should be able to uh, fetch that patient after that so let's go ahead and send this request and you can see that we get the response back we get a 201 and then we get the http status status code the message and then we get the data and then that's the patient that we just added you can see that we get the id and then we get the created at so we know that everything is saved in a database so now if we go back to the browser go to patients so forward slash patients we should see that patient right here okay so and we can also fetch for that patient by passing in the id so if i see forward slash one press enter you can see that we get the response with just that one patient as our data so everything is working and it's live and i don't know when you guys are gonna be watching this i'm gonna keep this up for like a day or two because you know as i keep this up aws is just gonna keep charging me for that easy to instance and i don't really need it to be uh, to be up and running but I just want to show you that, you know, we can actually deploy this real easy with Docker. So go ahead and test the application further if you guys would like. But after you do your own deployment, you can take the link and send it to your friends or your family members as something concrete. Now, another thing I want to mention is we don't really need to be in here. Like I can exit and I can actually close my terminal and everything should be working. So now if I go back to my third workspace again, refresh, it's really a real deployment that you did. Obviously, this is not production grade deployment, but it's, it's a good deployment that you can do with Docker if you want to use Docker for your architecture. I just want to show you that we didn't have to have the terminal open for this to be working. I can close my computer and and come back tomorrow this should be running no problem so i hope this was helpful to you and maybe in the future i'm going to show you how to build a real application that you can actually use uh, for some production service because right now we have a bunch of patients and patient information that's really sensitive information and there's no security on this api so maybe in the future i can show you guys how to use json web token and then secure your api and build something with a login functionality and a register functionality you know something that's a little bit more complex so that you can take your skills to the next level but we covered a lot in this course so make sure you assimilate the information really well and you understand what everything is doing if you have questions let me know or uh, use google to find your answers if you can't just reach out to me i should be happy to help you and uh, i will see you guys in the next one